Hi. Hey, what kind of things do you think about when you go hiking? When you're really out there all by yourself, or maybe with a buddy, what kinds of geographical things run through your mind? Well, take a look at this ground here. There are, the whole surface is literally covered with small boulders. They're all about the same size. How did they get there? What mountains in the distance maybe were they washed down from? And how are they transported today? Is it wind? There's certainly not that much water down here in the desert. What about these plants? That's an ocotillo plant behind me. What kinds of things uh, allow that plant to survive out here? Same thing with these. Some of these look dead, but they're really not dead. They may be in a dormant season. A few of them may be dead, but most of them are not. They have an amazing uh, ability, as do the animals as well, to survive out here. Okay, so, so we think about the, the surface, we think about the climate, the vegetation, the landforms, the animals, and then what about human impact on the landscape? Right now I don't see any human impact, but uh, you know what? Back there, I saw a fence. So there is some human impact on the landscape here. I'm going down this ravine. It's a little tricky, so I've got to watch my step. So good safety habits are another thing to watch out for and to be, be cognizant of. What kind of supplies do I have in my backpack here? I definitely have a GPS unit to help me find my way back to my starting point of my hike. Got water, got some sunblock. You see I'm wearing a hat. I probably wouldn't want to be doing this in the middle of the summertime. Right now in the northern hemisphere it's January and so it's, uh, it's the first full month of winter. As you can see though, out here in Arizona I'm not wearing a coat. Uh, I've got some layers just in case but it's quite nice so I think about the climate out here and the vegetation that the, that the climate supports. So back on the human impact, there's not much. Why is that? Interesting. Take a look over here. Why did people settle here now and in the past? Right now this is kind of the headquarters of a recreational vehicle city not far from here is Parker, Arizona. Parker's got a huge influx of what we call snowbirds. People that come down here from Minnesota and Iowa and New York, places like that, where right now most people are chipping ice off their windshields. But out here, there isn't any of that. Because we're down here in the Mojave Desert and the northern Sonora Desert as well. And uh, it's quite nice. It's probably about 75 degrees Fahrenheit out here today. And that's quite pleasant. So there are towns, whole towns that have sprung up because of the recreational vehicles and uh, the supporting community. So libraries and services of various kinds to support those snowbirds. And there are some that like it so much down here they live here full time. They get a little hot in the summertime but but they enjoy it. And then what about natural resources that have to support that? There's not much, much water down here as you can see. So where does the water have to be pumped from or piped from to support the population? Now, I'm here in Arizona. It's one of the fastest growing states in the United States. So is that sustainable water-wise and uh, natural resource-wise? So these are just a few of the things that run through the geographer's mind. Now, I'm, co I'm coming into another one of these desert washes. You know, another safety tip and another thing that shapes the landscape here is these washes can become a torrent after a thunderstorm. You know, this hard-packed surface uh, there's not much water infiltration, so when it rains, it, most of it runs off into these washes. So you have to be careful you're not in one of those uh, when it rains, or in a cave or something like that. So, okay, well, what about the geology of this area? What underlies the surface that I'm walking on? How many days a year is it truly cloudy here? As you can see, there's not a cloud in the sky today. What about historic transportation routes and present day transportation routes? These are just a few of the things that run through the mind as we're walking along out here in the desert. So get out there and explore the world. And while you do, 
Think about the forces shaping the landscape and people and the environment. Thanks.